Hi everybody, Ryan Jackson. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome back to the 100 days of the 2023 National Electrical Code Changes Series. In this video, we're going to talk about Article 555, which covers marinas, boatyards, floating buildings, and docking facilities. There were actually a lot of changes that happened in the 2023 in this article, and, and to be quite honest, there have been a lot of changes over the last 10 or 12 years in Article 555. And it's unfortunately based in tragedy because we're, we're really only starting to fully understand and, and come to grips with something called electric shock drowning. Now, anybody would tell you that electricity and water don't mix. We all know this, right? I mean, that's why we have Article 555 and Article 680 for swimming pools and 682 for other bodies of water. But unfortunately, we didn't quite fully understand exactly how to deal with those dangers until the last several years. So we've seen a lot of changes uh, since about the 2011 code cycle, lots of changes in 2023, and we're gonna cover them over the next four videos or so. Now this first one is 555.4 service equipment. This is actually a pretty simple change. Here's what it says. Okay, so additional clearance requirements for service equipment were added. I don't think this is something that's, that's going to come up too terribly often, but when it does happen, it, it needs to be addressed. So the service disconnect for a marina, floating building, or a dock must be at least 12 inches above the electrical datum plane and be at least five feet horizontal from the structure that it serves, but still be near it. Okay, so remember that the service disconnect, some people use that phrase uh, incorrectly. The service disconnect is not just a disconnect that's used for servicing something. I, I know a lot of people think that. They, they go up on the roof and they say, oh, I'm going to work on the air conditioner. I'm going to hit the service disconnect for the air conditioner. No, 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 no. The service disconnect is the disconnect for the service, right? The utility service, the way you shut down everything. So if you have a marina or a floating building or a docking facility, yeah, you're probably going to have a service disconnect, but it's likely going to be a ways away from the actual water itself. Now, here in the photograph, I'm showing a marina. This one is at a, at a local reservoir, you know, that's fairly close to me. And the service disconnect is way up there at that building in the background. So usually this section takes care of itself, but if the service disconnect actually is close to the water, then we need to kind of take care and, and address section 555.4, making sure that it's at least 12 inches above the electrical datum plane and at least five feet away from the structure that it serves, but still close to the structure that it serves.